Hi, welcome to CC Lab. In the last class, we discussed the visible and important differences between male and female skeletons joint alignment. In today's class, how to draw the precise outline of male and female front figure by using their skeleton joint alignment which I have drawn in the last class. Follow the class. Here, the precise body outline is drawing upon the basic skeleton. Observe each steps carefully.
most of the male shoulder is up curve in shape because the trapezius muscle which connect shoulder with neck it is highly individual if it's very muscular or carries much fat it can make the shoulder line look so high there is no neck inversely an underdeveloped trapezius often seen in very young woman gives the impression of a long neck generally the female shoulder is in a curved down position the female neck is longer and thinner as compared to a shorter and thicker male neck because the shoulder muscle are different in male and female nipples are slightly higher in the male than in the female male navel is above or almost on line with the waistline while the females is below it the female waistline measures one head unit across the muscular development in males and females is distributed differently the male usually has broad shoulders and narrow hips his upper torso and arms are more muscular his arms hang down in a straight line a female on the other hand has narrower shoulders and wider hips with larger thigh muscle the skin of the female is smoother than that of the males generally speaking a woman's body is made up of soft rounded shapes breast and buttocks but also the fact that when not modified the female's body stocks more fat under the skin men's bodies are more angular and have harsher lines when they are muscular a woman's stomach is gently curved and her buttocks are rounded a man tends to flatness both in the stomach and buttocks deeply understanding these differences will be very helpful in figure study and figure sculpturing in the initial stage to study anatomy more precisely you can draw the eight heads based squares or rough lines for this eight head spines when you get a proper idea of constricting body try to draw without these boxes but you can use the basic skeleton joint alignment sketches for any advanced level drawing understanding the precise differences between male and female anatomy will very helpful for figure study or figure sculpturing thanks for watching this class see you again with another session on anatomy bye for now